What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the moon in Blender. So the first thing you want to do is add a plane. We're going to scale that up and then to avoid later the things that are not good, we're going to move the light up. And also change the light, go to the light tab and change it from a point to a sunlight. And I'm just going to give it a kind of a steep angle so you can get that cool moon shot. And also while we're here setting up the environment, I'm going to go to the world tab and change the color of the sky from kind of gray to black so it just kind of mimics the moon. And I'm going to set it to rendered mode. And while we're in rendered mode, might as well change it from EV to cycles because this method will only work in cycles. And then uh, change feature set, feature set from supported to experimental. And so now we're going to start working on the actual moon surface. So I'm going to go to the modifiers tab and add a subdivision surface modifier. And I'm going to change uh, it from Kemal Clark to simple. And also check mark this adaptive subdivision so it'll change the subdivision number when you're farther away or it's you're in viewport versus render mode so it's really nice and now we're going to add our material so go to the material tab and add new one and before we do anything let's go to the settings and change it the displacement setting from bump only to displacement only so it only affects real geometry and not fake geometry bump thing so the first thing I'm going to do is go add a noise texture and I'm going to add a color ramp node and I'm going to plug the color into the color ramp node and you're going to see in a sec, oh actually it's not going to load, we need to turn down the strength on our sun. So maybe turn your sun down to like 40 because the sun at the default is very bright and so I'm just going to keep it around something like this. So add your noise texture and your color ramp and then do something like this and you should be good. So now we're going to start working on our displacement because that's really all we need for our um, actual color for the moon. Maybe turn up the detail. But um, yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some mix RGB nodes. And we're going to change this from mix to add. And then I'm going to copy and paste this like four times. Okay. And so now we're gonna add a displacement node, plug the displacement into the displacement on the material output, and then plug the color into the height. And we're just gonna plug the, all the rest of the adds into the top node in the add node. So just plug them in there. And now we can start working on our displacements. So the first thing we're gonna work on is the craters. And the way we're gonna add craters is by using Voronoi textures. And so what we can do is plug the distance into the first color and you'll see it gives us something like this. And so now what we can do is change this from 3 to 40 and we can change the scale. I'm going to change like 2.4 or actually maybe uh, maybe a bit smaller, a 2.8. A 2.8 seems to be good. And then I'm not going to mess with any of these other things. Actually. You can mess with the W a bit. W, I think, just gives it a random seed. So just mess with that until you get something you like. So then I'm going to add a color ramp node. And I'm going to start bringing these in until we have something like a crater. And so I'm going to change this from pure white to sort of like a gray. And then I'm going to change this pure black into sort of a bit more gray. And this will just change the different, like the height of the crater and the height of the land around it. And so if this is going to be my big craters, I'm going to want like very few of them. And so I'm going to bring the white in pretty close to here. Oh, well, uh, you're just going to want to change the color ramp to match these things. So there's basically going to be like the lightest one is going to be right here. There's going to be a slightly darker one right here right next to it on the right to give it that little ridge and then over here you can control the depth of it and so once you have your big craters we can move on to the sort of like smaller craters so we can add another Voronoi and we're going to be adding in the end three Voronoi and this is just to get all sort of just have different shapes so we're going to change it to 4D again and we're going to make the scale pretty high and also make sure you don't put color in there put distance in there so the scale can be like something like 5.6. You can just move the W up a bit to give it some randomness. And then keep the randomness up. So get a color ramp. And I'm just going to kind of cut it off. So 
So this is just gonna be adding some more small craters. So I'm gonna change it from white to like gray just so these aren't that distinct. Just give it something you like. Just make sure it's not like too noticeable because the small critters on the moon aren't that noticeably big. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm actually gonna get rid of one of the Voronoi because I actually like the amount of critters we have. And so I'm gonna get rid of this add node and I'm gonna add a noise node. So I'm gonna add a color ramp. And I'm gonna, I can make the scale smaller or bigger. And I think I'm gonna want the mountains pretty big. So I'm gonna keep it at like something like 2.1. And what I'm going to do is so I'm going to mess with the color ramp and see which things I like. So you can mess with, I would keep the detail pretty low. But you can mess with things like the color ramp to like make it more dramatic. But I would keep it at something not too dramatic because it doesn't really need to be. So I'm going to bring this up and bring this back a bit. Uh, trying to find something I like. But I'm thinking I like that. And then we don't need to add much detail with that noise texture because I can just copy and paste this and bring it to the other add. And then this is going to be sort of our surface detail. And so I'm going to completely change this, make it sound like more neutral. And then I'm going to change the detail to something like 16 and change this scale up really high. And this is just going to be the surface detail. So actually those node settings I just showed you are actually wrong, so don't use those node settings, use these instead. And also some other things you're going to want to fix is uh, switch it from, switch all the ones with the Voronoi from linear to ease. And this just gives it less of a steep fall off on the uphill parts. So I'm just going to switch it all from linear to ease. And now you're done. I hope you can use this method to make some cool renders. See you next time.